I'm Myra Ferguson for Ajar Productions, and in this video, I'd like to show you how to simulate an interactive trifold brochure using InDesign and N5. Although N5 doesn't have an export option for a trifold brochure, you can simulate one using the 3D flip card. Here's an example. Click to open the cover. It opens to reveal two thirds of the inside. Click to the right to reveal the last panel. You can click again to close that panel and click on the left to close the cover. Let's go to InDesign where I can show you the tricks I use to make this work. I'm starting with a letter size document that uses landscape orientation. I placed an image that I'm cropping to a third of the layout with its frame. I've already placed and cropped the left and right inside panels. I also have the cover image which fits into the center panel. Once I have all these panels, I'm going to turn them into two separate multi-state objects, or MSOs, and then turn the MSOs into 3D flip cards. The placement of these panels is important for when I make the MSOs because the 3D flip card rotates from the center of the MSO. Because the first panel is on the right half of the MSO and the second panel is on the left, it will appear as if it's a page turning as a 3D flip card. I'll select the cover and the inside panel. I'll open the Object States panel, which can be found by going to Window, Interactive, Object States. With these two images selected, I'll click the plus at the bottom of the panel to convert the selection into a multi-state object. Then I'll select the middle and right panels and convert them into an MSO. Notice that the content in the Object States panel only shows the image and not the empty space. The thumbnail makes it a little harder to see which panel it is. If you'd like to make it easier to see, we can add an invisible rectangle to the object state. An invisible rectangle is one with no stroke and no fill. I'll draw the rectangle and drag it into state one in the layers panel. I'll select state two, draw another rectangle, and drag it into this object state in the Layers panel. The 3D flip card will work without the invisible rectangles, but see how the thumbnails update in the Object States panel and make it much easier to see. Now that I have the two MSOs, I'm going to make them into 3D flip cards. I'll select the first MSO and go to N5 Interactive Widgets 3D Flip Card. In the 3D Flip Card dialog, I'll set the flip direction to horizontally. Once the MSO is set to be a 3D flip card, the exported version will become clickable and flip across whichever direction I set. Let's turn the other MSO into a 3D flip card. I'll select the MSO and set its flip direction to horizontally too. There's one more detail. Even though I have the panel set up in the MSOs, if the left inside panel shows and the right inside panel shows, we still need the middle inside panel to show. So I'm going to copy that middle inside panel from the other MSO, paste it in place, and drag it between the two MSOs in the Layers panel. Let's save and export. I'll go to N5, Export HTML5 with N5, and I'm going to go to the background section to set the page color to None. Without a page color, the attention will go to the flipping panels and will make them look more like they go together. Here's our result. I'll click to open the cover and click to open the last panel. And I'll close the last panel and I'll close the left side to show the cover again. Please tell us in the comments how you might use a simulated trifold brochure with your N5 exported content. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and be sure to check out N5 at n5.us. Thanks so much for watching.